Should. Hey y'all, happy day 15 of Vlogmas. Uh, as I'm filming this, it's actually December 11th for me, so it is Sunday, and I've come down to the office to edit some Vlogmas videos to preload for this next week, um, and also open up advent calendars. I'm planning on doing a stash dive for maybe tomorrow's episode. I'm um, not sure when that'll happen, but I'm going to do a stash dive and talk about all the things that I have probably in this cubby here. Um, that is my sweater quantity. And then below that I have all my single skeins of sock yarn. This right here next to my sweaters is all my single ply. So for shawls and things like that. Um, and then the rest of this is shop inventory. And this one right here with the bag in it is... Um, I think all my dishy is in there, my nitpicks dishy, as well as like some extra projects that I've stashed away. I still plan to do a whip parade in January where I'm going to pull out all of my project bags, everything that's on needles, and talk through every single one and then put them in a pile to either continue to work on or frog. So stay tuned in January for that, but once the chaos of Vlogmas is all done. I'm definitely looking forward to sitting down and planning out next year's projects. So um, let's open up day 15's advents and then see what else we get up to today. Oh, and I am wearing my pavement sweater. This is a pattern by Vera Valamaki. I knit this a few years back and I actually got the yarn when I went to Vogue Knitting Live in Minneapolis. Um, I went with my friend Christy. So if you're watching, I miss you Christy. I think of you every time I put this sweater on. Um, this is knit out of House of a la Mode in the Nordic colorway, I believe. Um, I really like it. And um, maybe I'll do like a set you down. It's got the split hem, so it's got the high-low hem, which is really nice. I can never remember if I'm putting it on forwards or backwards, so this very well might be the back where it's longer. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I feel like I need to get some of those tags that you can sew into your sweaters when you're done, because I can never tell which one's the front, which one's the back. Uh, but okay, time for advents. Still playing around with whether or not I want to do these voiceovers, but I thought, why not? I'm feeling in a chatty mood. Um, so I've got my beautiful pink color from my Mean Girls Advent. This is the Fiber Fox Enchanted Rose, which is a really purple pink mix. I'm loving it. Skein in the Stitch is this gorgeous kind of avocado green. Really pretty. I'm loving the fade that we have so far, and my blanket is looking gorgeous. Sweet Sparrow Yarns is Earthenware, which is a really pretty kind of terracotta brown. And Lofty Loops today is kind of that same terracotta brown with hints of pinks in there. And I kind of have been quietly calling this Cherry Cola in my head. That's just what popped in my head as soon as it was dyed. Um, but of course, none of these have official names. And then we've got Cloud Cover at Gardenham Woods. And this is so stunning that I couldn't I had the dropsies apparently but the deep blues with that light blue gray and the greens so so pretty I think I've decided that I need to cast on for that as soon as I'm back from my trip and today's Funko made me laugh so hard this is little Kevin with his pot of chili <laughs> such an iconic scene look at his hair oh my goodness and his little lower lip so cute. <laughs> Just sitting at Walmart, picking up groceries, like you do. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite things that happened because 
I mean, obviously the pandemic was terrible and I don't wish for that to have happened at all, but I do appreciate some of the advances that we've made because of the situation that we were put in and doing grocery pickup is probably one of my favorite things where I can just order all of my groceries online. This guy's about to hit another guy bringing someone's groceries out. It is absolute madness. It's chaos in this parking lot. Which leads me back to what I was saying. I love the fact that I do not have to go inside of a store and deal with the chaos and the people. I can order all my groceries from the comfort of my bed this morning before I even got up and got dressed. <laughs> and now I'm here picking them up. Um, yeah, it's, it's my favorite thing and I will never not order my groceries like this. So, so nice. I picked up these little ornament containers from Walmart as well. Um, I saw these on Kay, the crazy sock lady's vlogmas, and this is how she stores all of her socks. So she takes those clear plastic bits out and then just folds all of her socks up and they're in nice neat rows and then you can just slide it under your bed. I thought it was genius and I had to have some. My son came home for dinner and so we had just a really nice enchilada dinner and Miss Jazzy was doing her thing in the middle of the living room like she does. Um, but it was just a really nice quiet evening. It was nice to be able to sit and talk with him for a couple hours. We don't see him much anymore since he moved out and so anytime that I get to spend with him I cherish. And he had the bright idea to give Jazzy some catnip. And so that's what we did and then we sat around and laughed at her. <laughs> for a very long time but this little trout has a pouch and you can stick the catnip in there and she was just dragging herself across the floor like she had become possessed and then she finally conked out <laughs> but I got to work on my bounce throw and added in another stripe and started working on the next and then I called it a night so I will see you all very soon in tomorrow's vlogmas. Thanks for watching. Bye.